everything is identical to Zayden. And it, it just brought flashbacks. Flashbacks of a high school football game with her grandson being the one taking away in an ambulance. It's good to see you all again. I'm Matt Stelm. Tonight we've learned Buffalo Bills safety Damar Hamlin is still in critical condition tonight after suffering cardiac arrest in Monday's game against Cincinnati. Hamlin's family says the 24 year old had to be resuscitated twice on the field last night. Reports from Buffalo this evening say Hamlin is slowly improving, but he's not out of the woods just yet. Someone who's recently been in Hamlin's shoes is Monterey High freshman Zayden Ward, who Kelby K's Jaxie Pigeon has kept up with since his frightening brush with death four months ago. Jaxie. Matt, Zayden was watching the game live Monday night, and like many others in the sports world, it left him in shock. He tells me it, this hit extra close to home for him and is continuously praying that DeMar Hamlin can have the same outcome that he was fortunate enough to have with his injury. When I saw that on TV, that's what it reminded me of on August the 31st. That's what happened with Zayden, like a flashback. It was that August day that Zayden Ward collapsed following a high school football game and his heart had stopped. Flash forward to Monday, Zayden couldn't believe he'd see something so similar happen to someone at the highest level. This is the last thing you want to see. It really made me like rethink about football and like, I don't know. It's just a scary thing to see. And like when I, cause I was watching the game live and I, like, so when I seen him get hit like that, I already knew he was like finna fall. Luckily for Hamlin and Zayden, medical staff was ready and able to help. They did CPR on you and it did nothing. Your heart had already stopped. So they hit you twice with the defibrillator, but the first time they hit you, your heart stopped again. So they had to hit you a second time. So had they not, had Lacey not done that, you were dead. Zayden was diagnosed with left main coronary artery stenosis. And over the last several months, Zayden and his family have made numerous trips to Fort Worth for life-saving procedures, including an angiogram and open heart surgery. It's still not clear what caused Hamlin's cardiac arrest, and the bills say he is still in the ICU in critical condition. Seeing what happened to him and how Everybody was checking on him. They canceled the game. Some of his teammates went up to the hospital with him. That shows that football is not a sport. It brings family, discipline, character. Oh, it's not just a sport. Zayden is still on the long road to recovery, but says he has a lot more energy now than before. In light of Hamlin's injury, Zayden says, Don't take life for granted because any day you can just leave. And just last month, Zayden exchanged his cardiac vest for a less visible implantable defibrillator on his left side called an SICD, which Hopkins Medic Medicine says helps prevent sudden cardiac arrest. He's excited to return to school on Monday, where he will wear a mask at all times to protect himself from any sicknesses going around.